Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are going to be looking at the JSON function on Power Automate. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a variable of names and we're going to create a string variable which is going to contain an array of Joe and Jacks. So as you can see here we have the square brackets opening We've got the Joe in the string, and then we've got a comma, and then we've got Jacks in the string, and we've closed the square bracket. So what this is going to do then um, is going to be passed into the JSON function. So we're passing in a string variable of names into the JSON function, but we've actually created an array in our string. And then what's going to happen is that's going to convert it to a JSON array, so we actually have Joe and Jax in JSON. Now these look fairly similar, but I'll explain it more when we're on Power Automate, but let's actually look at another example, which is an XML example. So here we're starting with an, a variable called XML example, and we've got some XML. Now this is actually a string variable. So we're writing our XML in a string variable, then what we're going to do is we're going to pass that XML into an XML function which is going to convert our string to XML and then from there it's going to convert that to JSON because it's within the JSON function and we'll get a return that looks like this a JSON object with note and then inside we have to flojo from Jax heading reminder body don't forget me to feed me treats this weekend so that's how you can use variables to store your information then pass that information into XML so we're converting our string and then pass the XML into the JSON function which then converts it to JSON so we're transitioning from XML to JSON Let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. Right, so we're on the Power Automate website. I've got a manual trigger to trigger off flow. Then I'm setting the names of Joe, Sarah, Jackson, Meg in an array, but this is just a string altogether. So we've got a string of names. And then I'm also at the same time on a parallel branch creating my XML example variable, which is again, a string variable, but I'm just passing in XML here. So I've got a note of uh, Flojo, Jax, reminder, and don't forget to feed me treats this weekend in the body. So what we're going to do then is for the string names variable, we're going to pass that into the JSON as is, and it's going to convert it to a JSON array and we're going to get a list of names as a JSON array. And then I'm going to convert XML to JSON. But before I do that, I need to convert my string or the XML string to XML and then from there convert it to the JSON. So let's actually take a look at what happens then. Okay, so let's kick off our flow. As you can see, the flow ran successfully. We've assigned the string names variable and the XML example variable. So let's take a look at the string names variable first. So as you can see here, we've got an array of Joe, Sarah, Jax, and Meg, and it's an it's a JSON array. And then let's see what we get back from our XML example. So as you can see here, we've got an object of note and then inside that we've got flojo from Jax heading reminder body don't forget to feed me treats this weekend so that's how you can use the json function to convert simple strings create arrays of strings as well as convert xml to json on power automate that's it from me flojo check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the power platform and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video thanks for watching